What's going on guys? Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are continuing uh, where we left off in the last one. So, uh, this one's going to be a bit weird. Um, we're actually going to go do uh, one of the last side missions we actually have. We've had this one going for a while. Um, also, we've had um, a cutscene as well. Um, when we were in Hogsmeade, uh, I think on Tuesday's episode, which was uh, what episode we're on now. Uh, a good two episodes ago two three episodes ago so what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate it i think we need to head back to hogs mead though and we'll go by uh getting out there on foot but uh yeah it looks like we're going to hogs mead i'm not exactly sure where in hogs mead we're going but going here in hogs mead okay um what i'll do is right now though i will quickly pop in the little cutscene we had um in hogs mead where we got the um owl post and um and what was said, really. Okay, yeah, I'll put that in now. I suspect you are the one who has been interfering with a rather personal matter. The Demigai's statues and the moons contained therein were placed as they were for good reason. You should not meddle in the personal affairs of others. I don't think Mr. Pemberton meant to use his own stationery. He knows something about those Demigai's moons. He's in Hogsmeade, apparently. Perhaps I shall pay him a visit. So, there we go. That is now being in. Uh, now you guys understand the owl post, what we got. Um, I actually don't really remember what was said, so... Hold on a second. This is a tier 3 door, right? Isn't it? No, it's a 2. Hello, Hamora. Have we not been back here since? We got Hello, Hamora too. Maybe it's not. I sort of really wish we got Hello, Hamora um, earlier on. Like, all of them earlier on in the game we actually have so we've had them for quite a while we've had that quest for quite a while and it's just taking until now to get it if you guys want to go ahead and read any of this go ahead and pause and do so you can go ahead and read that Rebellion. and uh, i will grab this chest right here as well right let's head on out shall we it sounds like there's a thing out here somewhere Ding. Here somewhere. Getting closer. I'm not seeing it though. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Alright, I give up. Let's go. The flu flame right there as well. We got that a long time ago as well. Like, there's loads of stuff we got like ages ago. Actually, wasn't there another Hello Tomorrow up here? There's a three. No, that's the one we opened. Hmm. But yeah, we can open up any door now we want to open. We can practically do anything right now. I, I really wish like some things we did get earlier on. Like I think doing this mission like really early on would have been a really oh, good idea. Simply marvelous. But I've never seen the headmaster so regal. It's just sort of taking us till now to do it. I think on some of the side quests where we where we did other things like um, the Merlin trials and stuff like that, we should have probably put maybe some more of the um, the heads in. But I always thought that they were going to be a lot harder to like, sort of find and um, and get and stuff. Like I think maybe going around like Hogwarts and Hogsmeade, I think that would have done a lot of them. But like you know, like just doing like the exploration parts as well helped a lot. But maybe we should have done some more of those earlier on. Like, like there's loads of these doors still kicking around, which we've got loot in, which we haven't even done. Like, I haven't done one of those doors in more than a few weeks. And then I was like, oh, yeah, we'll just do them as we find them and walk past them. But then I just, like, there, I've, I've just walked past it and not did it. Like, we don't really need everything. Like, we... Like we're not bad for money, which is a good thing, but um, I don't know. Like I, I might sit around and like you know mess around a bit after the game and um, make more portions and stuff like that. But I think if I maybe play through this again, play through it a little bit slower than we have now. But I I don't know. Maybe I might stream this or something. Like, I, I really want to get streaming set up. Like, there's a few games I want to go play. 
-hmm. Like, where we have, like, mm -hmm. like, a day where, like, like, I've got a couple of games I really want to play. Like, I've got a game, um, which I've had it since launch and actually not played it. And then wanted to play it on stream. And then, it's been forever and I haven't actually set up streaming yet. Um, I get it. Like the other week when I was really unwell, um, I ended up having bank holidays. Um, it was like bank holiday Friday, bank holiday Monday, um, to where I had a four-day week, a four-day week, and a four-day weekend, like in between the two four-day weeks. Um, I was planning on getting a load done, but I was just seriously unwell. It was just really bad. Um, I felt like that sort of little holiday time where I can get stuff done, you know, I can focus on doing stuff like YouTube and streaming and stuff like that. Yeah, it just didn't didn't happen. But that's alright. Um, there's gonna be another bank holiday again soon, so hopefully I will I don't know, I might take some time off um doing my uh my weekly job and actually try maybe doing something else. Like like just try doing like more YouTube stuff. So we'll see. Rebellion. What's this? Low Hamora level three. Ooh, hello, we'll do this. Hello Hamora. We'll do this quickly. But yeah, I think that might be my plans. Um I really need to set up streaming. I really want to start streaming. Like even if it's just like a couple of hours on a night after after my day of work. <laughs> might be a good idea. Rebellion. Like, I really enjoyed streaming a few years back and I, I really do miss it. I generally do. But uh, yeah, I think that I think that's gonna be a plan for relatively soon anyway. But anyway, let's talk to this guy. Go see what he's got to say for himself. He's the guy who's been putting those demi guy statues around, so um, is this a good time of day for this? I don't really think so. Um, what we'll do is I think we'll wait until daytime. Just so we can see a bit better. I know you guys are going to struggle to see what's going on, so. Uh, a bit lighter there. Um, I can usually judge off the recording software how light it is. and That seems a lot lighter than it was, so. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. Pardon me, sir. About those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? I find them... I uh, find them... Yeah, go with that. They're quite clever. Oh, thank you. A lot of craftsmanship and care went into them. I, I assume. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student. Too cowardly to do it himself. <laughs> Hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was <laughs> thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Hogwarts Ted Kate was an important job. Uh, he's too big for his boots. Um... Let's go with the top one. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demigod statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were an inspired mean? play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. 
Um, poly my apologies. Um, uh, you're better than him. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. <sighs> Fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. All right, let's go talk to Mr. Moon, which he's all the way back over in Hogwarts. So, they're back there now. We're also getting a lot more of the side quests done than I thought we would that we would get done anyway. Like, um, I thought like we weren't going to get this many, but we have. So, another one I'm sort of looking out for is Sebastian's, um, like sort of his finish off. Like, uh, I know we were close to finishing off the storyline for him, but we haven't. Because we haven't got that achievement yet. We've been getting a few achievements this week to where, um, when we complete storylines. It sort of helps. Um, I'm thinking maybe we enter over here. Might be a good idea. Close to Mr. Moon, then. have to land here though. There we go. That's why it has to go this way. Fortunately we can't fly Honestly. further that way. Hit a bit of a barrier. That's alright though. We'll go through the we'll go through Hogwarts and find them. We go up here to the left. The whiny staircase. But yeah, another thing we've had as well to, uh, this week is um I had the first game crash I've ever had for this game. Um, I was quite surprised on that. Um, like, usually this game runs incredibly smoothly. Um, like, sometimes we used to, uh, well, we used to get frame drops every now and again, but uh, we haven't got any of those in a hell of a long time. Also, another door back and another. Yes, and another inflating How many times do I have? Yeah, um, I think maybe it's after this episode, they, this is going to be it for um, Hogwarts. Oh, for Hogwarts Legacy, I should really say. Little, little bit sad, but um, I don't know. We'll probably come back to it. Like I said, we we'll, might do like a stream of it, where I maybe say sit down. The stream will last months, um, and then we'll uh, we'll see from there. Maybe s might do some highlights or something. I'll make another channel for like I don't know stream highlights or something. Um, might be wise. Anyway, let's talk to Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the Demi guy statues. Um, it was someone you bullied at school. It's your friend from school. Um, it's your friend from school. It was an old schoolmate of yours, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I unknown? Pigtails Piers. So that was his nickname, eh? Um, yes, it's him. Oh, I don't think he likes that nickname. Uh, I don't think he likes that nickname. I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does. Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laugh the artist of all. Clever, clever man. Huh? I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm going to go and pay a visit to my old friend. There we go. There's another one completed. We're on 27 of... Whatever we're on. 27 of... 20... Sorry, 36 I think it is, right? Let's have a quick look. Um, like quests. Uh, so 27 of 32, so... Uh, five to go, right? Yeah, five to go. Um, which one of them is going to be Sebastian. We've got one on the map. And then three outstanding, which I don't know what they are. 
I don't know what they could be. Maybe it's two with Sebastian, uh, and then two outside. I don't really know. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do is we're now going to head out of the castle. Um, and head out, out. Um, I'm not sure if we... Well, yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to have another... Um, another quest from him. Maybe we might get another owl post or something uh, in the future. Uh, we'll find out. But yeah, we're going to head all the way down here. Um, I think what we'll do is we will... We'll fly. We'll fly down here. Um, we'll get our hippogriff through there and then we'll uh, fly over here. I think is a good idea. So, uh, another thing we haven't been to in a while is the Room of Requirements. We haven't been there in a long time, but that's all right. Um, I haven't collected dillies in there in a, in a hot minute, so. Yeah, that's like another thing I would love to just spend more time on, but like, it's not really, it's not really like, I can't really make a, like, a good YouTube video out of it. Like a lot of people is gonna find it incredibly boring. Um, if I just make like a, an episode like where we sit in the room of requirement and just, you know, do stuff, you know, like set up every time he always flies into the damn wall. But yeah, like sitting in like the room of requirement, just like doing, um, like bits and pieces. Like sitting there, like you know, setting up tables, decorating. It's not really riveting YouTube content. Um, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure people won't appreciate that. So I've sort of left it out and done bits and pieces, sort of off camera, um, like where I've collected stuff and um, you know, changed gear and stuff. Like like when you stream and stuff like that, it's I don't know, when I watch streams, like, even if it's just, like, you know, you, you tend to be doing things, stuff like that, I find it a little bit more interesting. Like, I wouldn't really want to watch a 30 to an hour long video of me just sitting in the room of requirement doing upgrades and stuff like that. Like, you know, it's something I will maybe watch, maybe it's a 10, 10 minute video, 15 minute video on it. But, like, it, you know, be heavily chopped up. Which, um... I don't know. I, I don't mind doing like chopped up content. It's just I find it very tedious to edit. And then by the time I've got like the finished project, it's a little bit like I don't think this fits. I don't think that fits nicely. And, and then it's all you know trying to make it as best as I can. And I don't know. I sometimes struggle with that when I edit. Like I sort of like Let's Plays. This is why I do Let's Play content. <laughs> I enjoy doing Let's Plays. It's a lot easier to edit Let's Plays, to be honest with you. Especially, like, videos like this, where... Pretty much all I do in videos like this is, um... Oh, wow, this is all cleared out still. It must be games, like when the game closes and stuff, uh, and then reopen it. I don't know, I've had a game crash since then, haven't I? Hmm. I wonder if it takes real in game time or something for everybody to spawn back through here. Maybe. But yeah, um, that's how I feel about editing YouTube videos, I guess. <laughs> Let's have a little Go! bit of a, a chin wag while we, uh, while we get across an entire map. I'm gonna miss flying around in this game now. And plus I do really like the interaction of streaming. I, like when people stream and stuff, I like the interaction you have with the audience. It's all live or close to live. So, who knows? Hopefully you'll start seeing some, uh, some streams for me uh, in the near future. The near future, I hope. There's one thing I want to get up and running this year. Um, I'm going to stick to it. Hopefully, I don't know. But I, I really wanted to do it at the beginning of the year. Um, we're still sort of at the beginning of the year. We're on the fourth month now. I really wanted it done by at least the third month. Like, uh, we're still in the first half of the year, though. So, 
I don't really want to be streaming um, during the summer. Uh, just for one reason. It's too hot to stream during the summer. So, it's, it's like the only thing is streaming in summer, it's too hot and you just, I don't know, you just don't feel like streaming. That you're not too entertaining when you're too hot and the weather's too nice. We're going to be somewhere cool and or somewhere chilling. <laughs> That's alright, we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. Hopefully, maybe it's by the end of this month. Um, maybe. Uh, I don't, I don't know. End of this month's busy. <laughs> That's the thing with making YouTube content constantly. You, you don't have a lot of time for other things. You don't have a lot of other time just to have chill time. But anyway, let's go help this mission. Go see what it's got for us. Come out. I'm sure it's gonna be harder to get a moon Oh, something must be done about the vile thieves who've infested the area. Let's have a chat with this lady. Who doesn't like the vile thieves in this area? Let's see if we can help. Is everything all right, Madam? Olivier, Madam Olivier, and no, everything is not all right. The vermin known as the Ashwinders have infested nearby Klagmar Castle, disrupting not only our sense of peace, but our valuable trade. It appeared that they were finally going to slither away until Sylvana Selwyn arrived. Sylvana Selwyn? Head rat. My guess is that if someone were to take out Selwyn, the rest of the Ashwinders would disperse. But Selwyn is a skilled wizard. I certainly can't take care of him myself. Believe me, I wish I could. I'm at my wit's end. Uh, let's have a ask some questions first. Selvana Selwyn? I thought Victor Rookwood headed up the Ashwinders. Selwyn's one of Rookwood's lieutenants. Not quite as terrifying as Theophilus Harlow, but a menace nonetheless. All right. Where is Clagmar Castle? Clagmar Castle's along the south coast, south and to the west of here. All right. What's so dangerous about the Ashwinders? They're not your typical thieves and extortionists. Not that typical thieves and extortionists are lovely company. They would not leave poor Bella Navarro alone. She'd given them everything, but still they kept threatening her. She was ready to go back to her family in Italy, almost lost her livelihood. They are ruthless. I'd see if we can help. I could take care of Selwyn for you. Goodness, no. I'd never ask a student to confront Selwyn. But I'm offering a nice bounty on his head. Feel free to put the word out. Oh, we're going to go do it. I'll do it for a nice bounty. Turn to... Oh, I think we've already cleared it out. Let's return to her. Selwyn has been taken care of. You defeated Selwyn? Merlin's beard. A student took down one of Rookwood's top filth. Then I suppose this bounty is yours. Well deserved. Happy to help. I'm glad I could help protect Cragcroft from the Ashwinders. The thieves will finally leave us alone. Thanks to you. You're welcome in Cragcroft any time. It's such a pleasant place when it's not being threatened by well, Ashwinders. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. I, think, I take it we've been there before and um, taken them all out. I can't remember what the castle was called now. What was the castle called? Eldwin Castle? Something like that? Uh, zoom in a bit. Let's see if we can figure out where it's at. And at Camp Castle. Might be this one here. Um, I'm guessing just because uh, it's it's literally empty and we've already taken care of it. I'm guessing it's that one. 
Um, I'm just trying to find something else maybe we can do uh, with today. Um, the only other thing I can think of doing is maybe... Um, just waiting until night and then hitting up the... Um, hitting up some... Oh, we've got a, um ancient magic over here we can go do. I guess we could go do that. Um... I'm looking for the, the moon symbol. Um, I'm not seeing any moon symbols. Ah, there's one over here, look. You can go do, like, these. The astronomy tables. Uh, I think that might be good. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll go over here, hit up this. And then we'll come over here and we'll go do the astron astronomy table. Then I think we'll work our way back over here. And if I can find any more, we'll do them. Um, I think that might be it for today. Um, there's not much more we can do. <laughs> Rebellion. And I'm actually starting to get a little bit sad. Um, I guess what we'll do first is I guess we'll loot this place. We'll probably find a couple of demigod statues, but that's all right. Hello, not sure what level that whole Lomora was. I wasn't really paying attention, but it was easy. Rebellion. Okay, here, uh, doing guys. Maybe the guys are here. Maybe, maybe not. Head down. I might be in chest. That's what I heard. Right, head out, split up the rest of this village, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. I think. Rebellion. Right, there's a chest in here. There's like three chests in here. Gonna get some better loot. There we go. Take that. There's a chest on the other side. This wall outside. Oh, there's one upstairs too. Rebellion. Whatever it was, right here. Sometimes the chests actually do blend in with the uh, with the environment, which is nice. But sometimes it makes them hard to spot without doing Revelio. Sometimes I get a little bit bad at spam spamming Revelio all the time. Also, the galleons are getting chests are pretty like meh at the moment. Something upstairs. Rebellion. I think if there's any more demo guys, we'll just sort of leave them for now. We don't really need them anymore. Really? Level one. Alohomora. But yeah, I was hoping that that mission was going to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more involved than what it was. But I guess we already secured that castle at some point Rebellion. in the in the past. Oh, when we're doing like another separate and completely different independent mission. That's all right. <clears throat> We're down here. A lot more two in the store. There it is. There's that one. Easy peasy. Rebellion. Looks like there's a bike there. Upstairs. There's a box here. I think that is it for in here. 
I know there's probably a demi guy somewhere in this village, but we either walk past it or something. Grab this bag. Revelio. I think there's a thing over here for this tree. There it is right there. Like that. There we go, we are done. So let's just get this last thing in here and then we'll go try and find uh this is what we need to go find all right let's go i feel as well like that like there's some things i wish there was more of like doing the um you know when we were doing like the flying time trial things, like where we had to beat a certain time? I feel like there could have been a few more of them. Oh, I shall enjoy this. Um, as well as, um, like more classes. I felt like the, like we quickly got through the classes relatively quickly, like early on. And then after that, the, like everything just sort of like plummeted. Like there's not much more to do. And then we then we reach like end game like we are now, like really quick. Like yeah, like we've we've done like forty odd episodes, but like they're all hours long, apart from I think this week's. Oh, we've just been here. We just had a massive battle here. So I will take out these guys. He's not going to be too hard to take out. Just one more over there. Ah, oh, magic. That's weird. It's good for you. There we go, we are all good. Let's grab this ancient magic. I think we'll go do some astronomy stuff. Okay, so up there to the left, and I'm guessing straight up above us. Also, we're inside of a house, so we can't actually use our broomstick. My question is, is how do we get upstairs? That's down, that's not where we want to go. <laughs> um, how do we go up? Oh, we can actually use our broomstick. I can actually cheat a little bit. But you, you can not cheat if you want to, but this is not really cheating. It's just using. Sort of using your uh, initiative, I guess. Hello, Hamora. Hello, Hamora. See what's behind door number two, shall we? We can find where this uh, thing is. It's right there. Oh wow! I actually put the second one right on it as well. There we go. Revelio. Got a frog thing. I'll do that next. I just need to find this last uh <coughs> This last ancient magic location. Is that down there? Rebellion. Um, I'm guessing it could be Oh, 
down here. Hello, Hamora. Guess we'll go down here and have a look first. Where's it at? Yeah. That one I don't have. There we go. I think if you move your thumbsticks just a little bit off. Stop saying. Rebellion. Oh great. More battle. Can bring up. Yeah, I've not seen this last bit of ancient magic. Oh, there's a um, quest here. Can bring up. I guess we'll grab that quest and we'll do that quest, I guess. Can bring up. There we go. More of them. Really? Ha ha! Time to go there. The pulse. Let me answer. Confringo. Oh. Defender. Reductor. Protect. How does that feel? Oh. Um, that hurt a little bit. Look at why. Rebellion. There we go. It was behind here. Rebellion. This is not where I wanted to be. I think there's something here though. You guys want to go ahead and read that? Go ahead and pause and do so. We're going to unlock this to get a more. quest. So I'm guessing these are what maybe is the final random quests kicking around the map. Uh, I'm not sure where this is. To be honest with you. Yes. <clears throat> yes, I will have I'd to be interesting find to see where this out. leads. But we will do that quest. I uh, will finish off this ancient magic Rebellion. one first, though. We'll go do that next. Uh, I'm guessing the ancient magic is both me. Bye. <laughs> There's a nice way to dig those guys out. All right, let's see if we can figure out where this ancient magic is. We lived here, I wonder. Yeah, this was a nice little sidetrack. We got a side quest from it. I'm guessing there's a couple more side quests like this kicking around. We've done one of them before, um, a while ago, but Rebellion. I'm not 100 percent sure where this last um Ancient magic is. Added up there. 
That's it up here, look. We missed it. There we go. There's that ancient magic done. I'm guessing going into that room and then hitting that frog would have actually taken us up here. Go through the frog, shall we? Yeah. Takes us back up here. And we fall down. <laughs> right, let's um let's figure out where this quest is and where it's taking us, shall we? So, um I'm not 100% sure on this one, but I think what we'll do is we'll use a good old cheat tool called um, Google. <laughs> uh, let's search the, the quest name here, uh, which is... Uh, Curse Tomb... Uh, custom tre treasure of what's like I see there we go uh, it looks like it's a fairly easy one to find let's uh, have a look here shall we um, So, according to this, we need to be back at the beginning of the map. Okay, right. So now we know where we're going. Oh, well, I should have actually put on a waypoint. My bad. Let me put on a waypoint. So, on to everything here, we need to be over here somewhere. I guess what we'll do is we'll put this on. That should get us more or less where we need to be. And then we'll go from there. Uh, first things first, let's actually sleep away the night. Or oh, wait away the night, I should really say. And I've got the hiccups. I do apologise. I don't know where the hiccups came from. I've been sat here for like 43 minutes uh, recording for you guys, so I, I don't know where they came from. Let's wait again. Thank you for your persistence and cleverness. I confronted Piers about it, and he confessed straight away. <laughs> oh, rascal. We've agreed to let bygones be bygones. Uh, don't forget to say hello the next time you're in the three broomsticks. Thrilled to be back there again. All right, that was a nice way to end that quest, I guess. I also decided to choke on my drink uh, in that good scene. I will wait for that. Anyway, let's head on out, shall we? Ah, the drink went the wrong way. Really did. I really haven't had a good uh, couple of weeks, have I? I've had a really bad cold with Coffin. Now I'm choking on my own drink. What a week. Hopefully I remember to cut that out. There's a couple of cuts I need to make this week. Hopefully I remember them all. But yeah, I think we'll do this quest and then I think we'll be just about done for this episode, I think. And uh, next episode we'll go and hit up the, the final mission. And we've also had our... Um, just a little bit of feedback there from... Uh, one of the quests we've done earlier on during the episode, so. It was nice to know that they're letting bygones be guy bygones, I guess. So, I think we need to be over here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where we need to be. But uh, we're about to figure it out. Right, let's uh, remove this quest marker. Or marker I've made. Just so I can figure out where we need to go from here. Looks like in here need to go and in here somewhere 
Oh, we need to enter this tomb. Okay. leading me there we go achievement unlocked oh we really are getting all the achievements this week Revelio. let's keep going we'll pillage all of the stuff while we're in here as well just you know me Stuff in here though, look. A couple of chests. It was further in the cave. Considering the bones, I've seen this is a tomb. <laughs> you don't say. Confringo! Tomb for whom though? That's my question. You're not playing Tomb Raider. I wonder if they'll ever bring out another Rebellion. Tomb Raider. I haven't seen the Tomb Raider game in a hell of a long time. Let's see what this says. You guys want to go ahead and read this? Go ahead and pause and do so. Hopefully that should stop me from choking now. Thing drink. After I've choked on it, I'm now drinking it to get rid of me choking on it. <laughs> Revelio. I think this is where we need to be. Oh, spider luck. Choking. I don't know what happened. Why is this door okay. locked? I see what we need to do. Confringo! The first piece of the puzzle. Lumos! We haven't quite completed this quest yet, though. One down, two to go. There's another one over here. I'm guessing there's another one over on the left somewhere. Confringo! Revelio! Right, I'm guessing this one's in here something somewhere. Around here, I think. Revelio! Right, so we're gonna have to use Levio. That over here. Levio! That up there like that. Revelio. Accio. There it is here, look. Let's uh, loot up over here first though. Revelio. Accio. Hit spiders, I really do. Alright, let's do this, shall we? Right, there we go. Door should now open. Success. That was fairly easy. Revelio. Not really saying easy mode engage, but what they theory. Alright. These guys are fairly easy to take out. Let me You have to use the fire thing on them first. Huh. 
Ah, and now I know where we are. I think this is where we need to solve the puzzle now. Could use some of these uh, barrels to get rid of the uh, inferi, but... Right, now what do I need to do here? Um... Not exactly sure. Figure it out, shall we? Um, I don't remember what the map said. Um, where would it be? Inventory. Uh, then let's have a look. Uh, I think it's this one here, right? View. Okay, so the, the middle one at the top here needs to be a chevron. Bottom left. Bottom right. Yeah, I think I know what we need to use. I think uh, we need to use flip or I think this one. So it said this one. No, so that's not what we wanted. So top middle, bottom left, bottom right. There we go. That was fairly easy. Eureka! Glad to have got something after defeating those inferi. Yeah, but in the nothing for uh, 400 galleons as well. Not bad. So, yeah, we've um, we've now only got like a very small handful of side missions to do as well. So if we have a quick look, see, at what needs to be done. Um, like we're only three side missions away from fully completing the game. Um, I'm not sure if I should maybe Google to see where some of the in the missions which we're missing are. And um, plus, we also need to get Sebastian. We need to have a chat with Sebastian at some point. Um, which I don't know. I might make another episode um, just to wrap things up. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but um, I think we've done all of the side quests we can for now. So I guess uh, next episode is going to be wrap up this. If we do get a uh, a call or an owl from uh, Sebastian we will go see him uh, wrap that up which means it'll only have maybe it's outstanding maybe it's one mission two missions maybe I'm not 100% sure but um, I think let's head back out the cave and then I guess we'll go call the mission there I think Rebellion. see if we can find any secret passages or anything on the way out just to where we can grab some loot maybe there is any. Uh, I'm not sure which door we went through. There's a chest over here, look. Like. See if we can get to it. <laughs> Stuff in here. We can grab. I guess we'll grab it. Can. And then if we can grab that last <laughs> chest, which is over here. Revelio. Just like over here. Ah, over right here, look. Sometimes when you double back on yourself, you can figure stuff out like that. But, hmm. 
Alright, let's exit the cave. And let's, uh... Collect some leeches and then, uh... Let's head up and out. So I think let's head up top here and then uh, I think we'll end the episode up here. And then we'll probably start from up here and then uh, head back over to the map room, I think. How high do we need to go? <laughs> Quite high. By the looks of it. But yeah, uh, I think this is actually a good place to end this one here. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the series and everything so far. We're only uh, maybe a couple of missions away from fully completing the game. But uh, if you guys are enjoying it and everything, please do let me know um, by hitting the like button. If not, there's always the dislike button right next to it. Hit subscribe if you guys haven't already, plus ring that little bell to be notified when I next upload. Other than that, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and end this one right here. Thank you guys again for watching. Now, hopefully, to catch you guys all in the next one. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Morgan?